When I first found out I was pregnant, I thought I was going to be a single mum on my own. Oh, my back. I told Mohammed by a text message. He said, I'm not going to leave you, go for it on your own. So this is your second time in today, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Third? Third Third time in today? This morning. What is it? Your, your plan to get to know all the staff by name before mm -hmm. you uh, have your baby, is it? Right. Rachel does have very strong values. She'd be a good mum. She's very protective. Families should look after each other. It's quite an important thing. If you look after them, they'll look after you. So we're going to have a baby tonight, then? Okay. <laughs> if you need to stop on the way, that's fine. Has the little one got a name, or are you going to wait to see what it looks like? Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. lovely. Is your home, hopefully, till you've had your baby, and we'll see. Ch Ch what are you, what's your two? What are your names? I'm Hilary, her mum. I'm Michelle, her friend. friend. Hilary and Michelle, right then. And I'm still Bridget. Okay. <laughs> Let's take this one off. Get you a bit, because once you get on that bed and contracting like mad, you're going to be absolutely roasting. Okay. Well, I'll sit on the ball then, Rach, seeing as you don't want to. Watch out. <laughs> now, that would be funny, wouldn't it? It popped. So this is your first baby. Rachel, am I allowed to ask if you've got a partner? Or yeah. yeah. First time I saw Mohammed, I was a shelf stacker. Mo's job was a delivery driver. It was a love at first sight, yeah. So he's not gonna be coming in once the baby's born or anything like that. Oh you might come and see him. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would like Mohammed to be able to birth but it's going to be hard because he lives in Birmingham and it takes an hour and a half on the motorway. So Rachel and baby living with you? Yeah, for yeah? a little while, yeah. Oh, when I first found out I was pregnant, I thought I was going to be a single mum on my own. Oh, my back. I told Mohammed by a text message. He said, I'm not going to leave you, go for it on your own. Not allergic to anything. Am I right? What was that? Trying to figure out her writing. When I said not allergic to anything, I thought you said marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad is a Muslim. The only way that me and Mo can be together is if I convert to his religion. That's really important to Mo, because if I convert, then obviously I'll be a Muslim as well as bringing Daniel up as one as well. I didn't laugh, they laughed. It's exciting in a way, but it's a lot for me to take in. I wanted to push them. You want to push? What? I want to. We still do everything together now. We go to Skittles together. Sometimes we go to bingo together. It's nice to do things as a family. I think Rachel does look up to me and her dad as perfect models. Hopefully the same for her and Mo when they get together. I feel like I'm... <laughs> in Spaceland. <laughs> I am in Spaceland. Mine and Mohammed's family are not the same, but we have the same beliefs that our children should be brought up by both parents, the same as us two did. I do want Danny to believe that a family is a strong, safe and secure thing to have. And I always want him to think that. It's going to be a big step for me. You've got to wear their sort of clothes, and not as wear jeans. You've got to wear a headscarf. It is horrible to cover up my hair. It took me so long to get it like this. Just go with it and do what you were trying to do before. Just as if you were trying to do a big poo, that's it. It's going to be really hard when she does go. It's just going to be a chill change. It's going to be a shock to the system, actually. <laughs> Part of me is probably quite proud of her, yeah. It does take a really lot of good, a lot of courage. If we didn't have Daniel, we probably wouldn't be together now, but our relationship's got, for me and Mary, has got stronger since we found out we were pregnant with Danny, so... 
Yeah, it's got a lot stronger. The baby is very, very nearly here, sweetheart. Very nearly here. Okay. That's it. Now, Rachel, Rachel, listen to me, listen to me now. Keep pushing, but I just want little pushes. You, Rachel, you need to open your legs, honey. One more. Encourage it. Yeah, you have got one coming now. You have got one coming now, okay? Just take a big breath in. Push down into your bottom. Go on, go on, go on. Leave his head there. Don't be frightened of it, Rachel. Remember what I said? Now your baby's head is coming, sweetheart.